goodness me. <laughs> Very exciting. Ladies, gentlemen, colleagues and friends, it's an absolute honour and so humbling to stand in front of you today as your co-president of Welfare and Education and the Students' Union to offer the vote of thanks for the SOAS Graduation Ceremony 2013. Give yourself a round of applause one more time. May as well. <laughs> This is a day of celebration, one to celebrate all of the hard work and achievements and wonderful experiences you've had at your time at SOAS. It's also time to thank all of, the, all of those who have supported you in getting here, those who have cared for you and encouraged you, those who had great patience and taught you, giving you all the tools you'll have to have when you leave this institution and go, go out into the future. I apologise, the hat is too big because I'm going to take it off and I hope that's OK. <laughs> Save later embarrassment. Um, and it's also um, the vote of thanks job to thank everybody who's been part of this ceremony. Everybody at SOAS who's worked incredibly hard to make today a special one. And so thank you to everyone across the school who has done that. <laughs> And there's more to come in the graduation tent, which I'm sure you're looking forward to, but I digress. We're here because you've, you've done it. Each and every one of you here in front of me, looking absolutely beautiful in your graduation gear, hats and all, um, should have absolutely great joy in knowing that you've successfully made it through one of the most unique and challenging and, and wonderful higher education institutions in the entire world. Each and every one of you sitting to my right and all of you behind me should be so, so proud of them. So proud. <laughs> now, when I was sitting just where you are last year, um, we heard a lot about the mysteries of SOAS, um, the Japanese roof garden, the printers that seem to have phantoms in them right when the deadlines approach. <laughs> the essays that occasionally, not often, get lost in the ether. And the strange smell that sometimes takes over the JCR and the bar on, e on an <laughs> evening. <laughs> Others have spoken about all the really wonderful things. The samosas. The, the, the ten minute breaks from the library that somehow tend to turn into like an hour discussion about something extremely meaningful and deep. <laughs> when you just meant to get some water. And having lectures that really leave you questioning the core of yourself. And, and, and really questioning that, that certainty that you thought you had. And obviously, meeting all of the friends and all the loved ones that will stay with you for the rest of your life, for good or for bad. And... <laughs> <laughs> and Harry Krishna, which is... <laughs> In my four years at SOAS, I've been so lucky to protest with the Samba Band, to go to UGMs and debate some of the most important issues in higher education, and also debate whether or not to have a dance machine in the bar. <laughs> you can imagine which one was more heated. Um, <laughs> and I've been so lucky to meet all of you and to represent all of you with Harrison and Keiko this year. And I absolutely know that Johan and Leah and David will do an amazing job and will carry on so as being such an amazing institution. Um, and we'll, we'll continue the critical academy and, and fighting for what we all, we all believe is right. And then I, I really, hats off to you guys, you'll be amazing. And they're all sitting in the audience today, so that's pretty great. <laughs> I've noticed in my time here is that we all come from ridiculously diverse backgrounds from from all over the world from from all different types of families and different belief systems but somehow we're all very strangely similar <laughs> everyone who comes to SOAS comes for a reason we come here because SOAS has a reputation of being different of challenging the status quo of opening minds and having a real passion for that which most others overlook we come here because each and every one of us wants to have a positive impact and be engaged in the world around us. However, the world is not sometimes that easy to live in. The critical viewpoints and constant questioning that we all hold so dear will not always be the viewpoints of those we encounter once we leave. 
you're about to go out in the world as it is. A world that we think we can all agree is a bit horrible sometimes, but can be completely overwhelmingly beautiful. And if I've learned anything at SOAS, is that nothing is or ever will be static. Chain the changing world did not begin in the 1960s or with the welfare reforms. Everything has always been constantly changing. And I hate to sound like a horrible, cliched person, but you're going to be partly responsible for the future of that continual change. Whether you want to or not, you're going to change the world. It's what happens. And to be honest, and a little bit biased, I can't think of anybody better to go out there than, than you guys. Yeah, woo! That's that confidence. <laughs> cool. This is a place where you learn as much from each other, your academics, and as an academic community um, in SOAS, than you'll learn from your books and in your classes. And it's such an amazing and important thing. And I hope that you guys will be proud when you leave this place and continue to make each other proud as you move forward and continue to learn from each other because it doesn't end here. The learning doesn't end, it never does, like the continual changing. <laughs> and all I can say is thank you for everything, all of you. You've been wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And I know you'll be great in any way, in every way. Congratulations. Thank you.